Maggie! Hi, Maggie. Hey, what were you so upset about in the coffee shop? I didn't know it showed. Well, you don't usually go out and forget your bag, do you? I didn't even miss it. Come on in. That was really nice of you to come all this way just to bring back my bag. <laughs> I guess I'd have missed it sooner or later. You didn't answer my question. What was bugging you? I don't think I can tell you. Well, if it's like that, you have to tell me. It's not safe to have this kind of knowledge. Well, what's it all about? It's about how Bill Malloy died. What do you know about it? I think I know more about it than anyone else in Collinsport. I don't get it. How? I found something that proves that Bill Malloy's death was not an accident. I thought that was settled once and for all. So did I. But we were wrong. What kind of proof did you find? That's not important. The important thing is that Bill Malloy was murdered. Is that all you know? No. I think I know who killed him. Who? I, I can't tell you that. There isn't enough evidence for a judge and jury, but there's enough for me. And there's a motive, too. Vicki, I don't think you have the right to go around saying things like that. What do you mean? You know perfectly well what I mean. Maggie, I don't understand you. And I don't understand you. You pussyfoot around pretending to be so friendly with everyone. And all you succeed in doing is stirring up trouble. As a matter of fact, all the trouble in Collinsport started the day you arrived. Burke Devlin arrived back that same day. That has nothing to do with it. Cut you this time, didn't I? Let me go! Let me go! Mm -hmm. What's going on out I here? I just put him red-handed, standing and listening to your conversation. It's just what he must have been doing earlier today when we were talking about my date. Then he had to go and blab everything to Uncle Roger. I did not, and I wasn't listening. So how could I tell my father anything? If I didn't feel so good, I could really belt you one. You wouldn't dare. Don't tempt me, David. David, come back here. There you go. How are you, Maggie? I'm fine. Good. Do I look all right? You look lovely. Do you have a special date? Very special. Good night. Carolyn, ask Burke to phone me, will you? It's very important. Ask Burke to call you. Well, of course, Vicky. You know I will. Good night. Vicki, I'm not going to leave here until you tell me just what it is you know and who you suspect. Don't you understand? If I tell you, you'll be in the same danger I am. But what danger? If the killer knows that I know about him, do you think he's just going to sit by and wait for me to go to the police? Well, why don't you do just that? Because I don't have strong enough evidence. Vicki, what are you trying to do? Get yourself killed so you'll have more evidence? Of course not. Vicki, why don't you come home with me? My pop's there, and he's not the one you're talking about, is he? Don't be silly. You act so funny about the whole thing. It's just that I promised someone I wouldn't say anything about it until the right time. Who did you promise? Burke Devlin. Burke Devlin? You didn't have to promise him anything. Oh, yes, I did. You see, he's mixed up in it. Burke's been mixed up in everything ever since that accident. That's just it. Bill Malloy's death is connected with that accident. You mean all that stuff that he told us at my house was true? It could be. But he included my pop in that. I don't know about that part of it. All I know is that the murderer left a clue, and he doesn't even realize it. What clue? It's a fountain pen. I found it at Lookout Point. Vicki, you certainly ought to go and see the sheriff about that. I can't, not yet. I shouldn't even have told you. Don't worry about me. My lips are sealed, Vicky. I just wish you would trust me. I do. I really do. But I told you how dangerous it could be. Do you want me to stay here with you? No, no, I'll be all right. So I had to get home and start dinner. You go ahead. And thanks again, Maggie, for bringing back my bag. I still wish you'd come with me. I can't. Is it because you can't trust my pop? 
Oh, no, it's not that at all. I'm going to go upstairs and lock myself in my room until Mrs. Stoddard comes back. You're braver than I am. Still, I guess you're as safe here as you would be anywhere else. She ought to be back pretty soon. I thought she never left the place. Well, she doesn't leave the ground. She's gone to Matthew's house. Vicki, I could call my pop and tell him I have something to do. Oh, no, please don't. You know, I think you're a nut. <laughs> Maybe you're right. Remember when we first met? Before you even came up to Collinwood. And I told you that I thought you were crazy to come here. I remember. Well, I still think so. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye, Maggie. cry out. Don't make a sound. almost began to think I'd been stood up by my own father. Oh. Now, that would have been the ultimate rejection. Ah, you know better. <laughs> now, what can I do for you? I have something to tell you. Ooh, that sounds ominous. That's why you invited me to the Blue Whale, huh? Well, I thought it wouldn't sound so bad in here. All right. What is it? Vicki Winter says she has proof that Bill Malloy did not die accidentally. <laughs> proof? What proof? Well, she wouldn't tell me that. She said it might not be enough to convince a jury, but it was enough to convince her. I'll tell you something, Pop. I was afraid for her. I even asked her to come and stay with us. Well, why didn't she? Well, she just didn't want to. Well, uh, surely she didn't think I had anything to do with it. No, I'm sure she doesn't. Did she say that? Well, not in so many words, but... She did tell me if she told me any more, I'd be in as much danger as she was. That the killer might find out that I knew. So, of course, I realized it wasn't you she was talking about. Well, uh, who is it? Did she give any indication at all? Not directly. But who had the motive? Who else could she be talking about except Roger? Collins, huh? Yeah, I wouldn't put it past him. We had every reason in the world. Well, did, uh... She say what she intended doing. Well, I gathered she'd already discussed it with someone. Ah. George Patterson, the sheriff. No. With Burke Devlin. Burke? Well, I'd, I'd rather she'd gone directly to the police. Pop, if Vicky really does have proof that Roger killed Malloy, it doesn't involve you in any way, does it? You mean, uh, does it implicate me in any way? Of course it doesn't. I, uh had absolutely nothing at all to do with it. I had no knowledge about it. I didn't know Malloy was dead until the sheriff told the both of us that day in the coffee shop. It seems like years ago. Oh, it means the whole thing. I thought the whole thing was over and done with. I guess it was until Vicky found out whatever it was she found out. Well, maybe she won't ever go to the police. But Burke will if she told him the whole story. The whole thing starts all over again. Does that mean that that letter you had me put in the hotel safe is still important? It might be. And you still won't tell me what was in that letter? I told you, it's a life insurance policy. Haven't you been able to think of anything better than that in all this time? Well, I just forgotten about it. So, so did I until Vicky reminded me of the whole thing again. Oh, 
Why couldn't she have just kept quiet? I said almost the same thing, only I said it to her. <sighs> What'd she say? You know Vicky, she has a sense of duty about the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, come on now, Pop. The blue whale isn't suddenly going to run out of booze. I mean, you don't have to drink them dry. I know what I'm doing. Right now you do, but I want you to stay that way. Don't worry about me. Keep saying that, and I keep worrying. Besides, I haven't told you the whole thing yet. What more is there? Vicky also said that Malloy's murder is tied in with that accident ten years ago. Did she tell Burke that? I suppose so. It does involve you, doesn't it? Hello, is this the Collins Port Inn? Ringberg Devlin's room, will you please? Oh, did he say when he would be back? I see. Thank you. Hey, Pop, what's the matter? Are you okay? I'm all, I'm all right. M Maggie, do, do you think that... Listen, you, you're, you're on pretty good terms with uh, Vicky, aren't you? Well, sure. Call her up. Why? Well, I want to find out if, if she knows anything that could prove that Roger had killed Malloy. I did ask her that, and she wouldn't tell me. Well, try it again. You're good at that kind of thing. Come on, you know you can always get anything from me you want. Not always. Anything. Just ask, anything. All right. What about that letter in the hotel safe? I told you all about that. Now, go on. Why don't you... Uh, Telephone Collinwood right now and ask Vicky. Pop, it's too late to call now. No, 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 it isn't. Now, you go on and call her. You do that for me, Maggie. Please. Yeah. Mr. Collins, this is Maggie Evans. I hope I didn't disturb you. Oh, not at all, Miss Evans. What can I do for you? Well, could I speak to Vicky? Well, I'm sorry. She doesn't seem to be here at the moment. As a matter of fact, I called your house a little while ago thinking she might be there. No, Pop and I have been here some time now, at the Blue Whale. I see. Then you haven't seen Vicky at all. No, that's why I called. Is there any message I can give her? Would you ask her to call me tomorrow? I'll do that. Good night. Crawlers dragged in. Oh, I guess I could use a shave. <laughs> could use more than that. You look terrible. Oh, thank you. Hope I can say the same to you someday. <laughs> Not if I can help it. I heard you were out searching for Vicky. Yeah, all night, all day. Not a thing. I feel like I could pass out. <laughs> well, don't do it in here. It's not a very good recommendation for the place. <laughs> How about some rich black coffee? Yeah, make it hot too, will you? <laughs> Sure, I can tell by your mood that there's no word from Vicky. No, not a thing, not a single thing. Boy, <laughs> combing the lower cliffs, the beach, the woods. I don't know what to think. Where should it possibly be? She'll turn up someplace. I hope so. <laughs> you know, I don't know if this town is going to pot or if it's really starting to swing with all the action going on here. Maggie, if this is swinging, forget it. 
<laughs> sure, Joe. Your idea of swinging is a net full of fish coming over the side. Is that what you think of me? Well, unless your values have changed. Well, maybe they have. <laughs> well, that would be something. But I'm sure Miss Carolyn Stoddard would have everything to do with that. You hit it exactly. You look like you're about to make the big statement. Uh, I already made it. I didn't hear it. No, I made it to Carolyn. No wonder I didn't hear it. And I'm glad I didn't. Oh, listen, you would have liked it. I would? How so? Well, I'm afraid that Carolyn and I have crossed each other off our Christmas card lists. Just for this season? Permanently. Your social climbing days are over, huh? That's not why I was going out with her, and you know it. I'm sorry. Hey, I won't be able to serve another dinner until I know what happened. Oh, well, it's pretty simple. Carolyn just turned out to be something other than what I thought she was. <laughs> That's a good enough reason. How did you finally come to that conclusion? Yeah, she was in Burke Devlin's hotel room last night. Hey, that's enough to blow the horn on anyone. How did you know? Uh, I was there, too. Oh, talk about convention. Yeah. How did that little combination fall together? Oh, well, we were, you know, searching for Vicky, and Mrs. Stoddard thought that Carolyn might know where she was. Well, I, I suspected that Carolyn was with Devlin, so I, I went down to the hotel, knocked on his door. You didn't say you were the house detective, did you? No, he didn't even have to break the door down. I guess they just wanted to make me look silly. Did they? In spades. How? Well, I, I took a swing at Devlin. Oh, Joe! Now, that was silly. Did you at least connect? Oh, oh yeah, I, I connected all right. And he connected. Ooh, how many teeth did that cost? Uh, no problem in the dental department. A couple of lumps up here. <laughs> With the floor first. Well, Carolyn got in the middle and kind of broke it up. Although I must say, I would like to have given her a chop or two. Well, I told you the town was swinging, and you didn't believe me. Who's that? I don't know. Looks familiar. Thank you. Do you know her? Something about her. <laughs> or does every woman look familiar? No, 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 no. I've seen her somewhere. Oh, so tell me. I'm more interested in what happened after Carolyn broke up the fight. Oh. Well, then I, I told them about Vicky being missing, and well, Burke seemed to get pretty disturbed about it. Oh, told you he had a heart someplace. Yeah, well, he, he was more upset than I expected him to be. He went out with us and searched all night long. It was like when I said Vicky was missing, he forgot Carolyn existed entirely. I, I thought that was pretty interesting. <laughs> I don't. He just sounds to me like a guy who's interested in women in general. Yeah. If that's the kind of guy she wants, then there isn't any possibility of a future for us. I'm through with her. <laughs> that's the worst news I've heard today. Oh, I knew you'd be a comfort, Maggie. <laughs> Don't bother. It's from the bottom of the pot. Oh, yeah, I knew it tasted better than usual. <laughs> I'll see you, Maggie. I hope so. Get some rest. No. <laughs> Would you like some coffee? Oh, yes, thank you. I have a habit of assuming everyone wants a cup of coffee. Does everyone? Nope. I'm glad they don't. It makes this a very dull job. We need a few variations to get through the day. Could I have a glass of water? Sure. Thank you. Have you worked here long? About five years. Is Grace still here? No, I took her place. Are you from around here? Well, originally. 
Do you want to order? Well, I haven't decided yet. <laughs> Take your time. The kitchen isn't going anywhere. Are you back for a visit? Sort of. Hmm. Well, has the town changed any since you last saw it? No, no, not a bit. <laughs> In fact, it's just the same today as it, as it was then. That's what I keep saying. And if I know this town, it never will. You know this town all right. Same feeling. The salt smell of the ocean, the, the gulls making those sounds, the fog, the dampness, the fishing boats, noises of the docks, and the old buildings. Chamber of Commerce, anyone? Is that what I sound like? Right out of the brochure. Except there was something in your voice that made me think that you weren't actually praising those things. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it that way. Actually, all those things are, are very meaningful to me. They've been part of my life until the last few years. Then you missed it. Yes, I, I miss too much of everything. <laughs> you must have just gotten into town. Mm-hmm. About an hour ago. On the Boston bus? Why do you ask? Well, you said you're originally from around here, so I just assumed... I'm staying here at the hotel. Tell me. I, I suppose the Collins family is just the same as ever. <laughs> Town doesn't breathe unless they breathe. And Mrs. Stoddard, is she still there? Yes. I guess she always will be. And Roger Collins? If you've ever known Roger Collins, he's himself, only more so. Well, how do you mean? Well, to sum Roger Collins up, I'd say he's the man most likely to give the best imitation of Scrooge this Christmas. Roger has a son. David? He's a cute kid. Very clever. Blonde hair. Very bright. Yes, I, I, I remember him when he was very young. What's he like now? Butter would melt in his mouth, as well as steel. Sounds like a typical boy. There's nothing typical about him. But I'm sure a nice dungeon would help. Well, I, I still don't know what I want. <laughs> That's all right. So you're back for the holidays. Sometimes I'm not sure why I'm here. Or even if I should be. anything. Well, I don't seem to have the appetite I thought I had. I hate to charge you for that, but I'm afraid I'll have to. Oh, that's all right. I, I really don't know why I came in here anyway. Maybe you just wanted to see a familiar place or face. Perhaps that was it. Hmm. Tell me, you mentioned something about, about Roger Collins and an accident. Well, that was ten years ago. Oh, well, I don't mean to make a gossip out of you. I, I just wondered about it. <laughs> you won't make a gossip out of me. Just a conversationalist. Well, it's common knowledge around here that it's possible an innocent man went to jail because of that accident. And now the man that went to jail is back to try to prove that he's innocent. Well, who is the man? Another local boy. Burke Devlin. I see. Did you know him? A long time ago. Well, after he got out of prison, he made a lot of money. Oh, did he? <laughs> well, whether he made it crooked or straight, I don't know. But he's got it all right. He's loaded. He's staying here at the hotel. Is he? Mm -hmm. He's taken over what we laughingly call the presidential suite. Well, it's very interesting. How well did you know him? Well enough. 
<laughs> That's the way we all know him. Well enough to steer clean. He's got a chip on his shoulder so big it's a wonder he can walk straight. He wasn't always that way. Well, I guess it'll be like old home week for you. Seeing everyone again. Yeah. Old home week. Well, you came up on the bus from Boston. Is that where you were? No. No. New York? I mean, I've never been there, but I hear it's exciting. No, not New York. Further away than that? Almost as far away as I could get. Arizona. Arizona? Oh, that's great. You know, I keep telling myself that someday I'm going to leave this town. Very soon. <laughs> I'd love to see Arizona. What city? Phoenix. Phoenix. I like that name. Well, it's, it's named after a mythical bird. Which, when it felt its life drawing to a close, would build a funeral pyre and light it by fanning its wings and then... and then burn itself to death. But from those ashes, the phoenix would be reborn and live on another 500 years. <sighs> Ancient Egyptian legend. <laughs> be great if we could do that. But maybe that's not such a good idea. You'd come out worse than before. Anything would be better than... Well, it's not a bad idea if life has been rough on you. The important thing is to get rid of the old way of life. Find a new beginning, a new direction. And you've come back to Collinsport to be reborn? Perhaps. Either that or... Or to die again. Well, it's a good place to do both. Except the prospect of dying here doesn't appeal to me very much. You sound as though things were rough when you were here before. Well, it wasn't very easy. And in spite of that, you came back? Yes, well, there are things that have to be done. <laughs> I admire you for that. Good luck with it. Thank you. And so you traveled some. Some? Well, where were you before Phoenix? Oh, a few other cities, but I never stayed very long. Just a few days or a few weeks. Well, how long were you gone from here? About ten years. And you spent most of that time in Phoenix? No, no, just the end. Well, where did you spend most of your time? Sounds as if it's coming from the northeast. Yeah, we get some of our best storms from that direction. You were telling me where you spent... You know, I'd love some more coffee. like a storm coming up. How do you feel? In the pink. <laughs> <laughs> you look it. You got home pretty late last night. Should I say this morning? <sighs> That's uh, very reassuring. I uh, didn't think that I'd gotten home at all. <laughs> Did you uh, thank whomever brought me home? You brought yourself home. Oh. Shows you how marvelous control I've got over myself. You want something to eat? Oh, no. I'll upset this marvelous alcoholic content not on your life. You gotta eat something, Pop. Maggie, darling. I got a lot of dough tied up in that little binge last night. I'd spoil it if I took anything to eat until late tonight. That would just be a waste of money. Did you paint today? Please, not, not so loud. It kind of grabs me up here. Pop, I just want to know if you painted today. I, I started to, but the brushes were stiff, so I just ended up uh, cleaning them, softening them. Oh, Pop. Well, I'll be able to get out early tomorrow and get a good day in. Sure. Yeah. Well, I, uh, I, I did some uh, sketching today, though. Really? Yeah. 
I did one I even liked. Yeah. This one. I've seen that. What are you talking about? I only just did it. You showed it to me last week. I was trying to make you feel a little better, that's all. You made me feel worse. Well, sorry, darling. Pop, when are you going to pull yourself together? I'm doing it. I am. All that great talent going to waste? Oh, no, no, it's, it's not going to waste. No, I'm, I'm, I'm getting ready for a, a whole body of work. Forty, fifty canvases, maybe. Is it just the booze that's keeping you from doing it? No, no, it's just a... Well, there are so many things going on, so many things that I'm kind of involved in. Well, maybe it would be a good idea if we left this town. Well, I wouldn't want to do that. It's the character of this town that I want to paint. But maybe you'd find another place more inspiring. I mean, a completely different place. Like where? Oh, I don't know. Maybe even a different climate. Like Phoenix, Arizona. <laughs> really? Well, what do you know about uh, Phoenix, huh? <laughs> Not too much. Except that I was just talking to someone who came back from there. Who? That woman over there. She used to live around here. And then she traveled around a bit, and I... She settled in Phoenix, I guess. Who is that? Well, I don't know her name. Some, something about her. Uh, it's familiar. <laughs> something about her. Well, maybe you know her. She's a local. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. She reminds me of someone... Uh, the hair is, it's different. No, 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 no. no it couldn't be. Well, who do you mean, Pop? Uh-huh. No one. Well, she seems to know everyone. She's been asking questions. What's she been asking about? Well, Colin's family, mostly. Which one of them has she been asking about? Well, she seems to know all of them. I mean, she knows about Roger and the accident. Well, what did she say about that? Nothing. She didn't seem to want to talk about it. But she knows Burke Devlin. Uh -huh. You, uh, you don't know her name? No. Why don't you go over and talk to her? Uh -huh. What else do you know about her? Just that she's come back after about five or six years. Yeah. For the holidays, I guess. Where's she staying? Here at the hotel. Listen, uh, let me know if you find out her name. It's very important. Well, where are you going? Huh? I, I, I got something on my mind.